And finally, I will comment something on, on the data which is relevant to this problem. Uh, TIP is working on a two-shift uh, day basis, uh, which uh, means working 16 hours per day because every shift has eight hours. They work 250 days per year so that you can have an idea of how many hours they're producing and, and, and given the cycle time, which is the maximum produ production they can have. They have a margin per item of 250 euros, which is the, the figure you get when you um, have um, a selling price of 850 euros and a variable cost, a cost per item to be more accurate, of 600 euros. Okay? Uh, this uh, takes into account all, 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 all the costs involved in producing an amplifier. So the analysis that Chip wants to do is uh, divided into three um, approaches. One thing they're considering is to add more stations. So if you add a new station, you have to, to invest 800,000 euros and as a, as a result, as, as we saw using the tool, uh, that means that we're going to produce more. Well, that investment, you have to make, it's a, it's a, it's a one-time investment, but in addition to that, you have an increase of your variable cost of uh, 200%, sorry, 2%. And you can add as many stations as, as you want. As you saw, there is a, a, a maximum value that if you go beyond that, it doesn't make any sense. Second, you can increase your capacity of the bottleneck or of any stations. And if you do that, that is a little, uh, more, a little cheaper than creating a, a new station from scratch because you just duplicate it for whatever reasons. So that means investing half a million euros per station that you duplicate. And again, this also represents a 2% variable increase uh, per station you duplicate. And third, uh, they are considering the possibility of adding a new task. Okay, uh, That is a task that increases the, the perceived value by the customers. And they have two options. One uh, requires less investment, 150,000 uh, euros. It only takes four minutes, and that will allow them to increase the, the price in that 6.5%, but it also uh, implies increasing the variable cost per item in, in 5%, 5 And they have a more aggressive option, which implies investing 175,000 euros. It takes longer, uh, 11 minutes, and in exchange, uh, they have a 3% increase in margin because they can increase the price in, in 13% and the variable cost increases uh, 10%. So the, the, the thing they are asking themselves, is it worth doing that? Because is it worth the money we're going to make because, because we have a large margin because we are adding this new task? Does it pay for the investment and the, well, the, the, the increase in variable cost? is included in the margin, so is the whole thing uh, profitable, something that should do or not? Because maybe the perceived quality um, allows them to, to make more money, but doesn't, uh, is not a, a wise uh, option because of the investment they have to, to do is not, uh, is, is way too much. And uh, all this information is summarized in this table where, where you have several options, okay? Uh, I didn't put duplicate station one, but you can add it to these columns. Um, the values are similar. And you have the hours per day, the working hours, the working days per year, the price increase per each case, the price eventually that you can have as a result of the increase when you have an increase, the variable cost increase and the variable, co variable cost so that you can calculate the margin, and you have the investment in each case. And you have as the final row the, the, the final investment. So this is the input you have to, to use. And the point is, uh, using the, the calculation, the calculator, which is a sophisticated calculator, although it has a, a very simple interface, what you have to do is, okay, calculate what is the production you can get and if those investments are worth doing or, or not. And to, to, to and with this series of videos, I want to highlight that uh, 
this will see um, will seem to be a very simple analysis and it is not complex but it is not complex because you're using that tool I showed you before because if not for every single case you would have to do this uh, assignment manually and here you're only using 12 tasks but if you're talking about imagine manufacturing airplanes you'll have thousands of tasks and if you have a tool that allows you to obtain the assignment and to do the analysis you're going to do with this in, in a few minutes it's not the same that doing that manually and spending uh, several let's say days or even a month to get an assignment that probably is not the best assignment so you're not doing a fair analysis because for every option you have here you will be using the optimal assignment because you have a tool that makes sure that that is the case but if you were dealing with a large problem you wouldn't be sure if that was the case probably that wouldn't be the case so although this is a simple analysis, this is, this is an illustration of what you actually can do in a problem like this at a higher scale or in any kind of problem where you have to explore a large um, solution space, that way we call it in math, uh, a, a large uh, group of options where you want to find the best or, or, or one which is very close to the best so that you can implement it and make the best of your system. So I hope this allows you to perform the analysis, you understand what chip's problem is and how you can assist them. And that finally, this allows you to understand how prescriptive analytics allows you to, to speed up and improve the make decision-making process. See you in, in later videos. Bye-bye.